That's if Muslims become more than 30%, that country is in danger. Han Meditations. All right, guys, I'm Han. This is my wife, Kelly. Hello. We've been just interested in Islam and it's just, it's like consuming our life in a good way because <laughs> we've been learning so much and we feel like we've gotten closer to God through this journey. So this video, it's like, you seen an Islamophobe. I'm like, what, what is going on here? So let's just go ahead and watch this. He gets destroyed in two minutes. We haven't seen it yet. Let's check it out together. I mean, there's 200 million Muslims living in India. That's the yeah, second no largest Muslim that. population in the world. Yeah, yeah. And you're saying that wherever Muslims live, that's If Muslims become more than 30%, that country is in danger. Recently, this interview has been going viral again on YouTube Shorts. So we wanted to take a moment to respond to some of the points this Islamophobe made. If Muslims become more than 30%, that country is in danger. If Muslims become more than 30% in any country, that country is in danger. Okay, let's look at some countries that have more than 30% Muslim populations. For example, the United Arab Emirates has a 76% Muslim population and is regarded the second safest country in the world. Christians, Jews, atheists, and Hindus live in peace in this Muslim majority country. Qatar has a Muslim population of 67.7 and is regarded the safest country in the world. Let me repeat that again. A Muslim majority country is somehow the safest country in the world. And guess what? Qatar also has a Hindu population of 15.4 who are not harmed by the majority but treated with kindness and respect, as our religion teaches. If we look at real-world examples today, or even back in history, you will notice that Muslims did not discriminate against others for their religion or race. In fact, throughout history, many people ran to Muslim nations for protection against persecution. Unfortunately, we cannot say the same for the Hindus of India, Hate crimes against Muslims occur on a daily basis. According to the National Crime Record Bureau, on average 82 people are murdered every day in India. We pray for our brothers and sisters living in these difficult times. The pagans do not believe in the one true God of mankind. They worship idols and animals and inanimate objects that will not benefit them on the day they stand before the Creator of you and I. Wow, that's interesting because mm -hmm. we didn't know that. Mm -hmm. But uh we have a lot of we have a lot of friends that are, you know, brought up in the Hinduism. We did a lot of videos about Hinduism, and a lot of their concepts are very very interesting and I believe a lot of them are truthful. But the part that we always differed on was the deities. Mhm. Mm when they believe in all these deities and all these, I'm like, what, what about just God? So yeah. there's different scripts that say like how it works. Now there's basically one God and all this, but then there's deities that come into play with it. But I'm not a scholar about that, but just keep staying on topic with the Islam Islamophobic stuff, how he was saying in the video, they are the safest cities in the world. That is absolutely true. The, the top two safest countries are both Muslim countries. Right. I mean, come on, guys. And that is true because I've seen people go to Dubai and wear million dollar watches and not be scared at all. But if you go to London, exactly. New York City or somewhere and you have like a nice watch, a lot of times you're going to get robbed. That's just how it is. So but you can go in these different countries because they believe in God because they have a healthy respect for other individuals and if you truly believe in the religious text then you really will treat people the right way the mm -hmm. problem is a lot of people don't believe in the they don't believe in the text of what they're saying that's why a lot of times i was confused whenever i'd see christians but then they'd be racist but then they'd be doing terrible things but it's like yeah. how are you a christian you're wearing a cross and you're doing this nasty stuff judging and you're talking people. about you're judging people even shooting and killing people you're 
it's just crazy. It's just craziness hurting children. I mean, there's all kind of crazy things that happen. And there's individuals within each religious sect that use their free will and they're not true believers of the religion, then they do bad things. So that's with any religion that's out there. It doesn't matter what it is. There's false believers that say they're Muslim, but then they go do bad things that say they believe in the true Hinduism. Then they do bad things that say they're Christians, but then they go do bad things. So there's always going to be bad people out there that try and fake and act like that they're a part and they're doing the right thing. Yeah, and I think a lot of people these days is in a way they're almost afraid of God. But I would tell anyone that feels that way to just look at this example itself. If these countries where the main belief is the main religion is Islam, where the belief system is to put God above all else. Yeah. And the people are behaving in the most good and essentially seeing everyone as a brother and sister, someone you would want to treat them how you would like to be treated. No one wants to get stolen from. And so despite any religion, that's something I always held true just as a principle to live by, to treat others as you want to be treated. And God absolutely teaches that we are all brothers and sisters and should treat each other how we'd like to be treated because we are all one. We're all family. So if the people who put God the highest and worship him only, Mm. the society is running for the best good of all. That's something that everyone should at least take a hard look at and consider. Oh, absolutely. Because that's the problem. People don't understand history. People just understand, oh, well, this happens and the news says that Muslims are bad or they say that this is what's going on. And they don't understand the history of the world and what has happened previously and who was actually putting out this media. You have to truly extrapolate what is happening on different facets and different levels of reality. Now, if your reality is, hey, I watch the news that what they say is right. I don't question it at all then, hey, I feel sorry for you. You really need to get yourself checked and you really need to do some research on history and who's running things and what is really going on and why they're even doing it in the first place. Because that is what led us to this point now where we are being as open-minded as possible and as nice as possible and trying to learn as much as possible because there's so much going on in the world now where we need people that believe in God. We need all everybody to see each other as brothers and sisters in God and stop fighting over nonsense. We all believe in one true God. Let's just leave it at that. Why does there need to be anything else? There needs to be nothing else. We all believe in the one true God. And if you believe in Jesus as a a prophet, like we do, he was amazing. He was connected to God. Peace be upon Jesus. Of course, peace be upon Muhammad. He played a role in this whole thing as well, because we believe and what happened, the more we started to think about it is that it seemed like they saw God saw Christianity. They made a couple revisions through Muhammad. Peace be upon him. And Jesus did his thing. Peace be upon him. But People took what Jesus did in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, there's the Pope. They start worshiping the Pope. Next thing you know, they start worshiping Jesus himself. He never said, worship me as a God. They create a whole religion around. It's just all this stuff became different and changed over time. Whenever in reality, it was something so simple. Jesus was showing people about God. He was teaching people about God, about miracles, teaching people that you can that even after you die, you're not dead, you're mortal. It wasn't about him dying. It was about the resurrection, but they make it seem like it was about the death, the death, the death. It was about the resurrection, the resurrection, the resurrection. No, it's that anything is possible through God. Exactly. And if we have such a strong connection, we are just as capable as Jesus to have such a strong connection with God. And that's how powerful it is. It's all up to you how connected you want to be. But if you are the connected you can be, like Jesus, mm-hmm. it's endless possibilities. You can literally come back from the dead. Even death cannot conquer you if you are that connected to God. And that is what we are supposed to learn from it. And we are all supposed to realize that we can connect more and more with God and more miraculous things will happen in our lives as well. And we'll feel better. And we can do more for people and do more for ourselves. Absolutely, Kelly. You said it's spot on because it's all about showing that all things are possible through God. 
How do you think Jesus got resurrected through God? It says that he didn't say I'm resurrected because I am God. He said, I did it because it's through God. God is within me. We are all a part of God because God created us. So that yeah. is what it's about. But people took it, misconstrued it and turned it into something else. And when he was on the cross and everybody was laughing at him or even just trying to hurt him, stab him while he's up there. He said, forgive them, God, for they know not what they do. He didn't say, it's OK, I forgive you. He said, God, forgive them. He always gave the glory and the power to God, even exactly. when he was suffering on the cross. Exactly. And that's what people need to realize. So, guys, this is important stuff that we're doing on this channel. I really, truly feel the presence of God within us, guiding us and leading us. If you like the video, please share it. Please like it. Please comment. Please subscribe to the channel Join and just community. do your part. We're, we're making a community of people that believe in God, that trust God, that have faith in God. And, it is and we powerful. need all of you. It's powerful what's going on, guys. This is going to change the world. You are here at the beginning and at the precipice of something that is going to change the world. And we're going to do it together through this channel and through God. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one.